I'm going to do some random pulls for Mahjong competition rules. If you're new to this game and you have a set at home, give this exercise a try because it is a great help when trying to identify potential fawn for your drawn hand. We're going to do four random pulls, one for each wind of the round, starting with east round. I'm also gonna roll the dice to randomize which seat we are in for that random pull, because those scoring elements are part of where you're seated and which wind of the round you're in. I rolled a seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That means we're in the west seat. We're gonna get 13 tiles. We got a number two flower. This will not be counted in our eight point minimum. So we're gonna save that and get a replacement. Okay, we're gonna to have to really scan the, the fawn table because we have three dots, four cracks, four bams, two single honors. Okay, here we go. This is when I look at my tiles and see first if there's a pattern there. One pattern I see is that we have two, four, six, two, four, eight. If we were playing Wright-Patterson, that might be good, but we're not playing Wright-Patterson. We're playing Mahjong competition rules. So let's see. We could potentially play all simples, but that would mean six discards. I would not consider that. That's too many discards. All right, uh, let's see. We have a pair of sixes here, pair of sixes. Hmm. One, four, seven, two, five, eight, three, six, nine. One, four, seven, two, five, eight, three, six, nine. That is lesser honors and knitted tiles, number 34, 12 fawn. We would have one, two, three, four, five discards. That's kind of a lot of discards. Hmm. Knitted straight, number 35. Three full knitted sequences. Oh, let's see. Wait. I'm going to have to look at that one. 147258369. tiles. Nine. Hmm. Three full knitted sequences. That doesn't make sense to me. I'm going to have to go look that one up. I'm thinking a knitted hand, probably lesser honors in knitted tiles or knitted straight here. That is a concealed hand. But it is 12 fawn. I think that's what I would play here, knitted. If you would do something differently with these tiles, let me know. So we would have to discard the two, one, six, four, nine. Okay. We are now on to south round. This time we're going to be in south seat. 
south seat, south round. Wow, look at all these honors. Look at that. Okay, let's see if we can make a knitted handwork here too. Anytime I have single honors, I think about knitted tiles. Those are going to be greater honors in knitted tiles, number 20, where you have one of each of the winds and dragons. That's called seven odd honors. One of each of the winds and dragons. All we need here is a south. Then you need any combination of 1472583369. We have a 3, a 5, and a 9. Let's see here. 147, 147258358369. Three, six, nine, ten, eleven. Wow, we're two away from greater honors and knitted tiles here. We have one, four, seven represented here, two, five, eight represented here, three, six, nine represented here. If we get a south, we can discard, and all we would need is to fill in one of these discard that do i have too many tiles here four four five no okay we need a south we would discard then we would pick up either a tile in one of these discard this and be ready to win on one of these to complete the knitted chows or knitted sequences two away from a 24 fawn element that would be greater honors and knitted tiles number 20. wow i think that's pretty special that kind of a start two discards okay here we go Now we're going to do West Round. We are going to be in seat one. So we're gonna get 14 tiles this time. Okay, here, the first thing I see is we have five BAMs, four cracks, one five dot. So if we discard this, we would have avoided suit. Avoided suit is one fawn. So let's see what we could do with the rest of this. Let's see. Hmm. I keep seeing knitted opportunities here. Here's three, six, nine, here's a five, and here's a seven, and then wins. So we would have one, two, three, four, five discards. Yeah, that's one more than what I usually like to start with. So let's see, what could we do here? Five, six, seven, or five, six, five, seven. There is some potential for mixed triple chow, but we're pretty light in two of the suits. So I don't know if I would bank on that. Five through 
Let's see. What about upper tiles? Yeah, that would be significant. Upper tiles, seven, eight, nine, or up, uh, let's see, upper four, tiles six through nine. We'd have to get rid of the honors. This one is going to be difficult. What about a short straight? Let's see what a short straight is. Short straight is one fawn. Short straight is number 71. Six tile straight, we have five, missing a four, but we could do either a one or a seven. What about a short straight and all simples? That would be four discards. All simples is two. All simples, short straight, voided suit. Let's see, all simples is two, three, four, concealed, that would be six. Okay, so we're still short. We are in seat one and it is west round. Both of these, the west and the white dragon could bring score, but they're singles, so that's a challenge. Let's look again at the knitted, just because we have a block, three, six, nine, one, four, seven, two, five, eight, three, six, nine, and then use of these here. That would be one, two, three, four, five. I think that's gonna be the best option here, unless keep the seven for knitted possibility focus on a half flesh with a potential for lesser honors and knitted tiles. Discard these first. So 147 would be here, 258 would be here, 369 would be here. So that's why I would keep those, discard these. I think plan A should be a half flesh. Half flesh, would be number 50, and that's six fawn. If we pair up and pung one of these, that would be another two. Prevalent win, seat win, dragon pung, those are all two fawn. Uh, dragon pung is number 59, prevalent wind is number 60, and seat wind is number 61. So that's how I think I would play this, discard these. If you would do something different, right? West pull and what you would do. I would throw this one last because there is three, five, five, three. There's a little bit of a potential for a mixed triple chow with three, four, five. I would definitely throw these two first. Now we are on to north round and we're going to be in north seat. Okay, here. Either a half flesh or all simples. All simples though is only two fawn. We could do all pung with all simples. We do have a pair, a pung, and a pair. All pung is number 49, that's six fawn. Six fawn plus all simples with two, that would be eight. So we would just need to pair up here or here to get our fourth pung and then get a pair. So 
if we play all simples and all pung, we would have three discards. I think that's probably what I would do here. If we played a half flush, we would have five discards, including a pair. So I definitely would shoot for all simples and all pung. All we need to do is pair up. That's the only weakness. We need to pair up at least one tile out of here because right now we have two pair and a pung. If we could do these concealed, that would be sweet because there is three concealed pungs. Oh, there's even two concealed pungs. Number 66, that's two fawn. Two, let's see, three concealed pungs. Number 33 is 16 fawn. Either one of those would be fantastic. Okay. All simples, all pung, maybe more around pungs. So I would focus on that pung category probably. I'm kind of thinking that concealed is a good way to gather some small points. Between two and four points, even higher for some if you're in pungs. So if you have scoring elements like all simples or half flush, think about going concealed to get you up to that eight point minimum. Or even pungs concealed, two pungs, three pungs. That would be a really good way to try to get yourself up into the higher scoring hands, staying concealed. Something to consider. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls for Mahjong competition rules, may all your picks be keepers.